I've been out of Africa about 13 years now. I got a job uh, to work in Harlem in the clothing store. I happened to meet this uh, guy called Hakeem from New Jersey. The store that I was working, I carried his, uh, his product. I started working for him as a salesman. Through that, uh, I fell in love with the fashion. All my life, I was wearing secondhand clothing from Africa until I left Africa. So now, it's time for me to go back, to give back and let people, the, the generation that's coming under me, to be able to go to a store and afford a brand new jeans, brand new t-shirt, brand new hoodie, and wear it and feel like they're fresh. They don't have to do what I did when I was growing up. I want them to feel like they live in the United States, they live in Europe. They can be able to go to a store and buy a brand new outfit and come out and feel fresh and feel good about themselves. That's what makes me want to go do this brand in Africa. I started thinking about Africa to the point where I just feel like it's time for me to give back. Even though I don't have nothing financially, I feel like I can still give back. I can do something to give back to, to the continent. I started writing this book. Uh, the topics, you know, concern education, healthcare, energy, infrastructure, finance, and uh, a whole lot of other things. And economically, Africa is getting better. So I, I figure I have to put it out there for people who don't know to stop paying attention. I love to walk around New York City seeing motivation, seeing things, seeing artistic things that, that inspires me on the wall, on the train, people. When, we, when you speak about the role of the United States in Africa, people will start expecting to like a handout. And once a handout become a part of the situation, you don't get nothing out of it. Then it becomes like a welfare type of system. Rocker Henry Rollins tells the real deal about what's happening with the millions of dollars given every year in aid to the struggling continent. The part about Africa that is the most heartbreaking to me is the fact that, you know, people like Bono, who's doing a great job, I think the guy really means it, you know, he's trying to raise awareness, and that's great. But if, unless you, you pay attention, you're like, wow, Africa needs money, no one gives them money. Actually, billions of dollars have gone into Africa, and that's why some countries are somewhat resistant to giving money now. It's not that they're mean, it's just that they have donor fatigue. They go, look, we gave you like $300 million over the last 10 years, and a bunch of warlords got it. No one ate. There is a solution to chronic uh, poverty in Africa. The solution is definitely is, is quality education. Barack Obama as a president uh, is an inspiration for the entire African diaspora. And the only reason Obama was able to get there is through quality education. It wasn't, it wasn't a luck. God didn't pick him or anything. It was his hard work that got him there with the help of God. So no matter what happened, if you don't work hard, if you don't get your education right, I don't think God is going to just grab you from the slum and put you somewhere when you don't have the knowledge of, of where you're going. Africa is, is definitely going to unite, but it is already happening. It's a lot of uh, communities, like a lot of blocks in Africa that's happening. Everybody are opening up their borders, they open up their market. Because once these things happen, it can lead to, to um, all Africans being able to integrate with each, with, with each other and be able to travel around the continent freely without having to go through things that we're going through now. And that's what, what can build the economy. My name is Haas Kwame Komendere, and fashion is my passion. Peace. Africa unites, cause we're moving right out of Babylon, and we're grooving to